Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. And this time, guys, we are going to leave Slovakia, and we are going to Kao Canal. Now, this is, I believe, in Norway somewhere. This is the North Sea through the LB Estuary. Considered the busiest artificial waterway in the world. The fish we can find here are European perch, which we've seen, asp, which we've seen, Wells catfish, which we have not, Xander, we haven't seen those yet, Atlantic salmon, European sea sturgeon, there we go, European eel, sea trout, Atlantic cod, European flounder, garfish, and European bass. Now some of these I have not ever seen before. I've not, I mean, I've seen like long nose gar but a gar fish that's probably something similar but something maybe different I don't know I assume it's gonna have long nose in the teeth that's where I'm gonna go with that European bass actually I've never heard of a European bass so that's gonna be new sea trout I've seen that in the ultimate fishing simulator only place I've ever seen it as the Atlantic cod as well European flounder, I've seen that across the board in all kinds of fishing games. So this should be this should be interesting. Now I have jumped in here and did a little bit. I managed to catch an eel here of a decent size and a sturgeon. But the rest I'm still yet to get. So we're gonna jump in here and see what we can do. I think we'll start with noon on a clear sky. Okay. Now, like I said, I had been in here before, but I didn't come in like this. Looks like they've made some changes. Then we did have the balloons, which is cool. But let me take a look at the ma Oh, yeah. they. No, when I came in the first time, they only had the, the points 2, 3, and 4. That was all. So it looks like we've got four new sites that we can go visit. Oh, this is going to make it really interesting. Now, when I came in the first time, I came in right under the bridge, which is where I caught that eel. Now, I think I might jump over there. Yeah, see, this kind of, well, I don't know, this looks a little different, too. It's brighter. I like that. Before, it was real dark. That was the only problem I had with it. It had a real dark, dark feel to it. Yeah, it was a lot more tight. I don't know how to explain it, but it just wasn't this open and inviting, which maybe somebody complained about it. I don't know. That's usually how things like that happen. But I had come over here, and was fishing under the bridge, just like this. And looks like there's a good spot right there for it. Now, I did purchase something in the shop that I am going to suggest. Now, I don't do this too often, but there is a kit here that you should purchase once you get the money to do so. And it's called the Spinning Rod Pro. And the reason you need to purchase this is because you can get gear that probably, if you bought separately, would cost you around... 15 or 16,000 cash and you get it for 6806 if you get it as a group so that is a good good deal I will tell you though you're gonna have to go in and do some adjusting afterwards because uh, the rod I think only goes to like 18 pound the reel goes to like 35 or something they give you like 32 pound test I mean if you you can use it but you have to be real careful otherwise you're gonna snap that rod in two but I did do a little bit of mix and matching so that everything's a little bit better balanced. Not as good balance as I'd like, but I'm just going to have to be careful. Rod's still a little bit not as strong as it needs to be, but I don't have the money to catch to purchase one that's a little bit more powerful than like 16 pounds. So let me show you what I do have here. This is set 3, and I've got... Uh, the Sakura Species Light, which came with that kit at 16.01 pounds. That's what I'm talking about. It's kind of, kind of, it's stronger, much stronger than anything I've had so far. So, 
but the Patera reel hits 39.9 pounds. That's a bad that's a bad reel. That can hold a lot. And I tried to find something around 16 pounds to match that, but I, I couldn't. It just went down to like 12 or 13. So I got this 18. I know it's kind of pushing it. And I did get a leader that was a little bit a little bit less. So we're just gonna have to be very careful. I'm leaving this Sakura Sukus on here because it's it's a good one to try here. Another there's quite a few of them that are good to try here for what I understand. But we're gonna start with this because I caught something with it off the bat. And if I'm not mistaken it was the eel. I either caught it off of that or there's some other new ones here I haven't tried yet. Uh it was either that or the asp spoon. And for the life of me, I can't remember which one it was. So, we're going to start with that one, see what we get. And if we don't get the eel, we'll try the other other lure. Alright. So now we have a three rod set up. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, this is so much prettier. I don't know. I mean... I'm glad they did it, honestly. I hope it's as bright underwater. See, the only problem I have with that, too, is it's seriously, seriously dark underwater. It seems to be a little bit better. Okay, we're going to see what speed. I thought 20 was around where I wanted it to be. Well, I can't seem to get it less than 18. And it's still a little dark. But it is under the bridge. We do have some shade going on here. Now it is turning green over there in that right indicator, so it should be pretty enticing for the fish. Yeah, I'm looking for spawnings, but I'm not seeing any. Okay, there's one right below me right there. But I think I'm going to end up reeling it in before the fish gets actually there. Up here he comes. Yeah, he's got he's making a beeline for it. And I think it is a sturgeon. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna have to be real careful on the drag with this, so take the drag down because this is a big, big fish. Nice, nice sturgeon. Kind of a nice way to start this off, honestly. Yeah, we're going to have to fight this fella a little bit. Come on. Okay, now we're going to start to reel him in a little bit faster now. Come on, give it up. There we go, little fella. Nice little sturgeon. 23 pounds, not too little. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, they brighten this whole thing up. I like it. Before, it was kind of dim here. That was my only problem. It's like you couldn't really see very well. But I like that fish. Let me get a snapshot of him if I can. He's only a one star? How big do these guys come? <laughs> Damn. Well, I can't seem to do a snapshot from here. I thought F12 worked, but it's not seeming to do it from here. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and keep him. Now, let's see, what did I just do? Did I set off one of my... Let's see, catch 3.3 pounds of a single species of fish, bluegill. Well, any species weighs at least 2.4. I think I've beaten all of that. There's no bluegill in here, though, so I'm not going to finish those off. I'm not going to finish those off anytime today. 
unless I go to another place that has bluegill. Alright, let's turn that back off. Alright, well, I tell you what, let's let's try over here. I keep the drag at what it is. It seems to be a good good setting for the for this. Let it sink a little bit. Like I said, there are seven different places we can visit, so we've got tons of places we can visit here. I may mean, not get one that time, guys. You're not going to get a fish every cast. Alright. I think I might try that asp lure because I'm almost 100% positive that that's what I got that eel off of. And I did get it under the bridge. That much I do know. An eel brings in a lot of cash. That's, in, that's pretty much in any game though. Love to get an eel for you guys. I don't think it said. Yeah, it did say there were asp in here too. So I wouldn't be tore up if I got an asp. that time either. Well, let's come over here for a little bit. I want to try... I kept hitting those pylons, so I'm going to try to get beyond them a little bit. Start off in the sun. Damn, that was a hell of a cast. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let it sink a little bit more, too. It's a lot deeper here than anywhere else I've fished. Yeah, we're fast approaching 30 feet, so... I think... I think it's around 28 feet deep, something like that. I think I might take my speed down just a little bit. We'll see if anybody's interested. There's a little fish over there. I don't know what it is, but he doesn't seem all in. Whoa, there we go. Boom. And I think we got us an asp. Yes, we do. I think we do. Come on, fella. Oh, real nice. Yeah, they've changed some of the uh, animations here. Yep, we've got us an asp. So that lure works well. Great for the asp. <laughs> nice looking little fish. Just a one star. So that means we can get much bigger and do much better. Yeah, I think one of the key things that I needed to do is let it sink a little bit. I wish it sank faster. That's the only thing I must say. It needs to sink a little bit faster. In real life it would. I don't know what you are over there, but 
you don't seem... I don't know, we got my... I think I got something spawning in over there. I can't tell for sure, but... And we got duck feet. I think this waterway actually has swans in it, too. So it could be swan feet. So far, no takers. And I don't think we're going to get, get any this time. Well, there's plenty of lures that we can try. Plus, we got float fishing, but I think we're going to stick with lures for this episode, honestly. We'll try the float fishing in another episode. It's just too much to process, I think. <laughs> Alright, so we got an ass off. Whoa, look, 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 look. <laughs> Was that cool or what? <laughs> it's a Xander. A nice Xander. New personal. Well, of course, I've never caught one, but damn. Eight pound Xander right at the stinking last minute there. He went for that. So they go for that. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. 61.94. And he's just a one star, but I will take him. That was cool. Seriously, the last minute. I mean, oh, it looks like the sun's shifting a little bit here, guys. Yep, sun's shifting. So, I think I might head down here a little bit. Let's put ourselves in the sun here, and we'll try something new here. Let's see. Maybe we could try a topwater lure. This well, honestly, we've got these new ones here. It came with that kit. Got that. Is there anything else new? No, I think that's all there is. But they're called Dynastics. Let's try this one with the red face on it. Now see, there's a swan. It's right down there. I knew there were swans in here. Now, I don't know if this is a... I didn't check to see if this is a top water lure, guys. So I, I apologize for that. And I think it might... Yeah, I think it's a top water lure. So I'm not sure if we're going to see what's going to come after it, or if anything even will, but... We'll give it a try. I don't think I'm going to get anything off this particular lure. Not this time, anyway. Alright, let's try something else. Like maybe... Well, this is one I haven't tried here. This Robinson Trophy. It was really good over in Slovakia. And I guess the question is, is it going to be good here? But this one will be underwater, so... This may not be one of the best places to use topwater lures, too. There's always that possibility. Thing is, though, I know the Atlantic salmon do go for it, so if they're here, they should go for it. But I'm going to let this sink again, and. Ooh, it is deep. D. 
deep, deep water. And I am seeing a fish. A fish. We have fish. Okay, I'm not sure what that is there, but might be an asp. Doesn't seem all that thrilled with it, but I'm seeing some spawning. Up here we go. Boom! There we go. What? What is that? He's really yellow. Oh, cool! It's some kind of trout. I don't think it's a brown trout. Maybe it's a sea trout. He's uh, too yellow to be a brown. He looks sort of like a brown. Yeah, this coloration, other than the yuck, well, you know, it could be underwater, the way it's looking. There's that duck again. Alright, we've just about got him in here. Let's see here. Alright, what is this fella? This is a sea trout. I was right. Now, yeah, he doesn't look as yellow out here, but his markings are almost similar to the brown trout, but the spots aren't quite as big. 14 pounds. 132.84. That's good, good money, guys. That's good money. We're not doing too bad. Well, how's our net doing here? By the way, uh, I need to check that because sometimes I let it get too full. Oh, we're fine. We've got 50 pounds of fish. Oh, it's already advanced up to 187, so I'm I'm perfectly fine. Well, at least we know this is a good lure for this location. Could definitely get more of those sea trout. I haven't seen the eels this time. Yeah, the last time I was here, I not only caught one, but I saw like two or three of them swimming around, and I have not seen anything like that. So, but then they've changed everything. Actually, for the better, though, it does look much better than it did. I, it was really not. It wasn't horrible. It just was kind of simple I guess but one thing I will definitely tell you people this game they knock themselves out to make improvements now there's an eel there's an eel alright cool I don't know he'll go for this lure but there is an eel yeah I might get the ass lure out again they do like the asp lure. Okay, we got. No? Well, yeah, he is. Boom! What? I think that's an asp. <laughs> yeah, it's an asp. The incredible phasing through solid objects asp. Just about got him. No, that's a European. Okay, so that's a European bass. Now I did see a couple of them down there, but ninety-nine dollars for a four-pound fish. Well, shoot. <laughs> yeah, they don't look much like our bass, do they? They look more like asps or something like that. Just a grayish tinge to tint to them. He's only a one star too. Well, I have, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I am going like I said, I'm gonna change this over to this ash lure here. Maybe we can get that I really want to get an eel. Just 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 saying here. 
what in the world? Why am I'm hooked or something? There we go. <laughs> I got snagged on the side there. That was weird. Not sure what happened there. All right. We'll see if this works for the eel again. Of course, again, we could get another asp. Wouldn't be tore up over that, though. Nothing went after it soon enough. Oh, there we go. Boom! And we got us another sturgeon. Yeah, I don't think he's that big. He's kind of he's kind of a little fella. Come here, guy. Yeah, he's a little fella. Isn't he cute? We'll let him go. Jeez, let him grow up. <laughs> I mean, jeez. Gets me extra XP anyway. Yeah, where the heck are the on eels? I want an eel. Dang, damn it. I want an eel. They're cool. Well, I got an interested party up right off the bat. Boom. And I think it is an asp. Yep, it is an asp, and he is, he's a good size one. Come on, fella. Come on. Yeah, there we go. He's a personal record. 8.64 pounds, $16. They don't bring in a ton of cash, but... Then I haven't gotten a five star one yet either. So that's a two star one. Alright, we've been at this. I mean, time just goes back so quick when I play this game. I can't help but want to keep going and keep going and keep going. Now, I don't know where all this stuff is. Looks like a little bit of exploration is involved. Just a little exploration. Not the whole game is exploration. Then we fish whenever we get time in between. Let's see here. What could we try this time? Like I said. Well, we could try one of these bugs. This secured Jimmy bug is a good one. So is this one with these black wings. I think that one's going to stand out really well. Let me just let me just try it and see what happens. I think once we get close to the seaside, we might see more of the Atlantic cod and the salmon. But if those trout are in here, they should go for this. Yeah, like I said, you can't really see what, if anything, is going after it. Yeah, there's one thing about Slovakia. You could re you could see the bottom. And the water was real clear. and If something was coming after it, you knew it. Yeah, I'm hearing splashing. That may, may or not May or may not be a good sign. I don't know. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I got him. <laughs> I don't know how, but I got him. What is it? Holy crap. I thought, oh, shoot, I missed him, but they didn't. I didn't. I didn't miss him at all. Crap. I think that's a cod. Looked like a cod. Let me take a look underwater. No, I think it's an Atlantic salmon. Yeah, it's an Atlantic salmon. What's the hay? You, did you see? There's a Wells catfish, a little bitty one, but it's still a Wells catfish. Dude, 
That was pretty cool. He just last damn minute. There we go, we got him. Whew. Nice, 29 pound Atlantic salmon, guys. <laughs> that was really cool. Last second. Okay, the bugs work. Bugs work. He's only a one star. I'm still hearing the clicking. That's kind of weird. Well, I'm going to do one more because you know me. I always want to catch one more fish. Yeah, Dula said just because you get it close, that doesn't mean you need to quit. Reel it all the way in. And if they're coming after it, stop. Let them get it. <laughs> they will take it. That was really cool. Damn. Okay, now we got us a codfish, guys. And he is... He is not messing around. Look at him. See that little barbel on the bottom of his chin? That's how you know. Not to mention, he's kind of got a greenish-yellow tinge to him and a big old head. There's some good eating, guys. Right there, some good eating. Okay, let's get this guy in now. He's taking my line into the red a little bit. Rod's still doing good. He's going to give me a fight. This might be the biggest fish I've caught so far here. Yeah, that bug lure definitely gets these guys all worked up. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take up my drag just a little bit. He is. Yeah, he's he's not coming all that easily. Okay, come on, fella. Come on, come on. What is that little bitty fish there? Yeah, he's coming. He's just coming slow. I'm not. I'm not trying to push him too hard. Uh, I mean, you just set my drag up just a little bit more here. Well, this guy is a bruiser. Come on. I love this underwater camera because I like watching him. I know it's not real realistic, but it's still fun to watch him. He is still taking it out. Okay, we're going to have to get serious here. You may have to walk it. This is something you can do in this game. You can walk the fish. You can walk the fish. You can walk the fish. Okay. Taking the fish for a walk. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we need to set a little more tension on there. Damn, this is a big fish. Well, my rod is holding up, so let's pump it up to 90 here. We're not going to mess around with this fella. I don't know, should I attempt fake guys? Take the drag all the way up. He's still not in the red and he's coming. So I think I'm alright. I think I got him tired enough. Ha! 
and he's only a two star. 64.02 pounds. 608.28 cash. I think he's going to fill my net pretty much the rest of the way. Jeez, that is a fish. Very nice fish. That's a very nice fish. Very nice fish. He make a lot of sandwiches. There's going to be a fish fry tonight. Okay, let's go ahead and keep him. And we leveled up to 17. How about them apples, guys? How about them apples? All right. I think that was a good episode, guys. First look for all of us together as good as a group here. My second look, but things have changed so much that it's basically a first look cuz this doesn't look a darn thing like it did before. It looks so much better. I love how bright and cheerful it is. But yeah, that bug, that bug is a running a big old fish. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.